Hello everyone, in today's video we will combine the inventory module with the melee and or shooter module. If you've tried out the test scene for the inventory module, you would have seen this nice toy sword, but when you pick it up, well, nothing really happens. Our goal here is to make sure that you can actually use these inventory items as weapons. In order to create this, we will need Unity, Game Creator, Inventory, and the Shooter or Melee module. So let's dive in. So in order to set up this scene, all you'll need is a player and the Shooter Melee module obviously set up together with the Inventory module. Now I will be using the Inventory UI I set up myself, which is simply integrated into my pause menu. If you don't have that and you have the regular Inventory, UI, that's completely fine, it doesn't matter at all. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our weapon. So I want to have the actual toy weapon, so I'm going to duplicate our sword here. And I'm going to call it wooden weapon. Now you don't need to do this. The um, reason I'm doing that is because I think it's fun to actually have the wooden weapon in there. So it uses this mesh, so I'm going to duplicate that one, rename it wooden weapon, there we go. Open this up and we will need to add the correct mesh. So, I think it's this one. Yeah, there we go. That's the correct mesh. I'm going to make sure point B is in the correct place. It needs to be at the tip here. That's not perfect. There we go, that's better. Cool. So, let's look up that wooden weapon again and it needs to use our wooden weapon mesh there we go oh. perfect it's a wooden sword and it's made of wood cool I'm not going to change anything here, it's just going to act the same as the regular weapon. It's more about the fun of actually having that wooden sword from the inventory scene in there. Perfect. Now let's add these to our scene. So I'm going to use the original mesh here. It's just called sword. And I'm pretty sure it was this one. There we go. I'm going to add a gun mesh already as well, just to have it in the scene, because we're going to get set up a gun as well. Mine was called Gun Mesh, I'm not really sure. Yeah, it was this one. There we go. So let me rotate this. There we go. So right now these are just meshes, they don't really do anything, but we'll add that later. So the important thing here is going to preferences and going to the inventory tab. Here you will already have a sword and on equip it just attaches the mesh to the left hand and on unequip it removes it. And that's all it does. So simply just attaches a mesh and that's all that really happens. Now we want to make use of our melee module of course and our gun module. So the shooter one. So I'm going to duplicate the sword here. By using duplicate, it does get a new ID, which is the important one. It simply copies over all of the values. 
which is really, really nice. So this is going to be called pistol, a 1911 pistol. Still not really sure if it was actually in 1911. Now the sprite here is the sprite of a sword. So I need to find the sprite character shooter. There we go. So we're going to use the sprite of the shooter module. You can obviously use whatever sprite you want here for the inventory. It's completely up to you. Just going to use the default one that comes with the shooter module. Now on equip, we need something else to happen. So we can leave this. We need to change the gun to pistol. There we go. And on equip, what we need to happen is, well, we can remove this. I'm not going to attach a mesh. can remove this as well. We're going to actually use the equip. So in this case, draw. This is the melee. We're going to add our wooden sword here. And on unequip, it is going to sheet the weapon. Now with the pistol, I'm going to do the same thing. So equip, uh, draw, sorry. I'm going to, well, I'm going to grab my 1911. Honestly, it doesn't matter. You can just pick the revolver, completely up to you. And we are going to holster. Now, this will not be enough, unfortunately. I will show you uh, why it doesn't work properly as well. This is related to the actual shooter module, so it will work fine actually for the melee module itself, but you need some extra steps. But I want to demonstrate those in a bit. Now, by default, we're adding all of these. You can change values here, so, you know, if you think a pistol should be worth more, if you can stack several, have different weights, it's completely up to you. Now we don't want to consume this item, it needs to be an equipable. So we're going to leave all the values the same as the sword because it, well, it works as a weapon. It equips on the right hand, that's something I want as well. If you want to change this to left hand, go here and change it to left hand. Perfect. So let's close this up. Now we need these to actually do something. So I'm going to drag these two down a bit. I'm going to add an empty here. So this one will be the sword. I'm going to drag the sword as a child of it. And this will need a collider. So I'm going to pick sphere collider here. That's in the wrong place, obviously. So let's move that a bit. There we go. And that's about fine. Change this a tiny bit. There we go, it's about the middle. Not perfect, but whatever, it works. I'm going to do the same for our pistol here. Let's rename this to pistol. Add our sphere collider. Oh. And that's about right. Not absolutely perfect, but good enough. So now these have colliders. Obviously we need something to happen. So we're going to add a trigger. Now here you can do whatever you want. So, you know, if a player walks over it, 
I'm just going to keep the simple mouse click and we need to add actions. Now the important thing here is that you add actions on the parent, so not a new folder. So we do need to click this, but then remove this one and make sure you use these. Reason for that is we you are using destroy after finishing. If you would have actions here, it would simply destroy those actions, but it wouldn't remove the sword from the actual game world. So that's why it's important these actions are actually part of the parent. So let's go to inventory here, item, and we're going to add a sword. And for this one, we're doing the exact same. adding our pistol. I'm going to add 10 bullets as well or even one mag. Let's just do seven bullets. Enough for one magazine of this gun. Let's make sure they're the right bullets and there we go. So one extra little step but I think it's a bit weird not having any ammo at all so at least it should have one mag when you pick it up. Now we have these set up. I'm going to press uh, play and actually show you why this by default won't work. This is simply not enough if you are using both melee and shooter. So let's pick up our weapons. So I'm going to click both. Both are now gone from the game world. Well, this one isn't. That's interesting. I must have forgotten something here. So let's check. Yeah, they're both here. I must have forgot to enable destroy. Anyway, we'll need, we'll need to do this again. So let's try this out. So now when I press, press resume, we can use our melee weapon. All great. Now if I unequip this, Resume, we're all good. Equip the pistol, resume, and we're good as well. Now, don't mind the double visor there. Now, if I'm going to change this around and just drag in the sword, hit resume, it works. But if I drag in the pistol now, it doesn't work and we cannot use our pistol. So that's the extra step I mentioned. So I'm going to back out here. Let's see, I forgot destroy after finishing. There we go. So I'm going to go to our preferences and the pistol is a bit more complicated. I think it's related maybe to uh, the animations for drawing and unequipping. I'm not really entirely sure, but a couple of extra steps fix this. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our shade, add it to the pistol equip actions, have it in there first, and we need a little weight, maybe 0 0.5 is a bit much, but I'm sure this works properly and we're going to do the same with the sword I'm going to add that holster and on equip of our sword to holster at our weight here as well do the same 0 0.5 and there we go let's hit play again Perfect. So let's pick up our weapons here. And that's better. Now it disappears. I'm going to go to our inventory. We have our gun and sword. So I'm going to equip the sword. 
works fine, but as you see, a really small delay. Maybe you can make it a bit shorter. It's up to you. Now I'm dragging in our pistol. And it works. Dragging in our sword. Works. And dragging the pistol again. And it works. So that's the thing. Um, it seems to be that the shooter drawing animations are a bit more sensitive and actually need some time. So making sure the previous is drawn and we actually equip the other one, um, holster the other one or sheet the other one seems to be the magical trick. So that's it. That's all you have to do to make the inventory module actually work fully functional with the melee and or shooter module. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit like and subscribe and I will see you next time.